Hello there. Trying to be casual about this vlog intro. Welcome to another, oh my God, my foot. <laughs> I am not natural when it comes to vlogging. It is such a struggle, but welcome to another vlog. My name is Marsha. I'm not sure where my last vlogs ended. So this is a new start, but I figured, what's my hand doing? I figured I would take you guys with me today. Um, and by take you with me, I mean I'll bring you in my purse and feel uncomfortable vlogging and then I'll tell you about what I did. But I am just currently in my room. That's scary, my koala. And I wanted to show you my hair. Let me elaborate. Okay, I wanted to show you my hair extensions because I've had them for a couple months and I don't think I've ever actually talked about them on YouTube. But these are from Barefoot Blonde. I'm forgetting my exact shade in them so I'll put it on the screen or just link it down below but I really like them they're just the clip-in ones and I actually did take them to my hairdresser probably about a month ago and I got them trimmed and blended a bit but I kind of want to get them cut just a little bit shorter the quality is really really nice these are the first extensions I've ever had but I really like them I also thought I'd just show you my outfit real quick Little earrings are from a local boutique, and then my jacket is from H&M. The skirt I have on, I mentioned in a recent haul, it's from Cotton On. And then this bodysuit is from ASOS. And then I also have on this little ankle bracelet that I made. Crafty. Um, another thing I wanted to mention, and it's like a little hack, is if you want to wear a bodysuit, but you hate the feeling of the bodysuit giving you a wedgie, just wear like boy shorts and then tuck the little, tuck this little thing into it. We just got personal. One day I walked around with my tail out all day and no one told me. What turds? Like, okay, here's the thing. If I were out in public and I saw a girl with her tail out, with her tail out, I would totally be like, uh, girl, tuck that bodysuit in. Tuck it in. Okay, I'm gonna go, and I will see you guys later. Also, does anyone else get strangely emotional leaving your, your animal friends? Like, I know I'm gonna see her in two hours, but she's gonna miss me so much. I just finished up at the mall and I was totally forgetting that malls close at six on Sundays. I don't know why I was spacing out. So I got there at like 4.45 and I only had an hour and 15 minutes, which seems like enough time, but I was kind of like pediddle hopping around and not focusing because I thought I had till nine and then all of a sudden it hit me. But I'm gonna show you my Lululemon stuff. I got a really cute, I love this color. I don't have anything this color, sports bra. And then I found a pair of pants. These are the all the right places. I'll show you when I got home and I also got a really cute sweatshirt from Topshop. And then from Sephora, I found these, which one of my favorite YouTubers mentioned. These are the little, is this in a different language? Oh my gosh, I was trying to read the French side. These are the Glycolic Acid Glow Peel Pads. I got the big pack because I felt like the little one was a rip off. So we're gonna try those tonight. Anyway, we're gonna drive now. I'm gonna buckle up for safety. It looks like I'm naked. Honestly, it just looked like I was naked. And uh, in the Lululemon dressing room, shout out to the employee who did not tell me that I did not shut my door all the way. I'm just kidding, she was actually really sweet, but still, I did not have my door locked. She like pulled it shut behind me, and I just assumed that it was locked, and it was not, and I was like, girl, I have my, I have my boobs out. I was trying on bras, so. That's just a typical, typical Sunday for me, but I'm gonna drive. We're not gonna vlog and drive. Pro tip, carry water around with you at all times so you do not get dehydrated. Okay, also, the story is kind of disgusting, but I'm gonna share it with you because it's funny. So I was drinking my Starbucks, which was like this awful brown color. It's relevant. And I was in the bathroom and I coughed. And as I coughed, I was holding my Starbucks cup and it spilled out of my hand and like poured onto the floor and the girl next to me went <gasps> because I'm sure it looked like I just puked on the floor so that was really beautiful okay I'm gonna go home and show you guys the good hello there I don't know why I always have to start vlogs 
like that. Well, actually, I'm not starting a vlog. I'm continuing the vlog. It's a couple days later, and I was watching the footage I filmed when I got home from the mall and the grocery store, and it was so late by the time I got home that when I showed you the pieces I got at Lululemon, the lighting was dark, and it was hard to see, and anyway, I'm refilming it. I'm just here at home planning my spin class for tomorrow. Uh, let me know if you think it'd be cool to see how I plan a class. Otherwise, if nobody cares, I'm not going to, but it's actually really fun. And I got these new blue light glasses from Amazon, and I was kind of skeptical of the whole blue light thing because I bought a pair a while ago and I didn't notice any difference, but then I liked these, even though they're kind of big and a little dorky, but I like them. They do have that slight like blue tint to them, but I actually find that these really help with eye strain and I like them, so just a heads up. That's what's going on with these. This is also my new sweater that I got from Topshop, or sweatshirt I should say, at Nordstrom the other night. I think I mentioned I got one there. It's so comfortable and like fuzzy on the inside and I just love it. I've already had to wash it three times because every time I've worn it, I have gotten makeup on it. So, great start there. But, pieces I got at Lululemon. The first one is this sports bra. This is the Energy Bra High Neck. I got it in a size six. Usually I'm a size four in their bras, but the thing is like, you know bras that come that are higher like this, sometimes if they're too tight here, you get like that awkward little like pudge here, like that side boob pudge. So I wanted to avoid that, so I got a size bigger than I usually do, and it's really flattering on. It kind of just looks like a crop top mostly, but then the back is really pretty and has this nice crisscross detail. It doesn't have pads in it but it's a pretty thick material so I think you'll be fine as far as like peep showing. Anyway, I really like this bra. I think it's a perfect color for fall and I don't have anything this color so definitely excited about it. $58. I do get an instructor discount at Lululemon which is, I think it's 25% off. Yeah, 25% off so that definitely helps make their pieces more affordable. I guess. Honestly, the quality of their pieces is so great that it's worth the price to me. And then for pants, I got these, and these are the All The Right Places crop too. I actually still need to get them hemmed even though they're cropped because I'm that short. And these I got in a size 4, which is my normal size, and they were 118. They are really flattering. They have these pockets here, which honestly, I kind of want to put candy in, which is definitely not what the pockets on workout leggings were designed for, but that's what I wanna do with them. So these are the pants, and you'll see them on, but they are really, really comfortable, and I think they'll be great to wear for spin and running or cardio, so I'm excited about these. So it's about 6 p.m., 5.47 to be exact, and I had a really big breakfast and lunch, so I'm not super hungry for dinner, but I'm making myself eat something now, otherwise I'll get hungry at like, 10 and then I'll eat late and then I'll be up late and then it's just a horrible cycle. So I'm making myself eat a little something now but I wanted to share with you my favorite protein shake because it's so easy and it's healthy and it's delicious and you should try it. Selling you. Uh, this is my favorite protein. It's the Orgain plant-based protein. This is in vanilla bean. It's delicious and I'm obsessed with it. I also have their chocolate fudge one that's really good. So this is like a strawberry tropical-ish smoothie and it's... How many times am I going to say it's delicious? Just trust me. So I already have about just a little under half a cup of orange juice in the blender. I just finished up my container so that's why it's already in there. And then I add about probably like half a cup of frozen strawberries. These are just from Whole Foods, like so. And then if you want, you can add just a couple frozen raspberries. The trick is you don't want to add too many, otherwise it makes it really, really tart. And then you'll also want one banana peeled, preferably. And then for almond milk, since I already have the orange juice as some liquid, I don't put too much. It's probably like three-fourths of a cup I add in. And then for this protein, you do two scoops like so. And that is 21 grams of protein. And then I'm going to blend it. And I'll return. 
She is all blended, ready to go. Gonna go ahead and pour it. And we'll do a little taste test. 10 out of 10. You guys, this is so good. Like I said, it tastes like a strawberry milkshake. Which makes me want to sing my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, but I'm going to resist. So, yeah, I'm going to go sit back down, finish planning my spin playlist, and drink my smoothie. Let's do it. Prezi plain Jane.